Greetings everyone, so today I want to talk about HDMI cable. I've done several videos based on HDMI cable, but this one is going to be what cable to buy based on the device that you have. Okay, so I've had a questions on my channel about what kind of cable to buy for the device you have. Now, some people want to buy the 4K cables and the high bandwidth cables, but sometimes that's not necessary. It all depends on what your device can output. So if your device can only output 1080p, don't buy the 4K cable because you're not going to get a better picture, better sound or anything like that because the cable is going to downgrade itself based on the device. So just save the money and get you some good quality 1080p cable if that's what your device can output. You know, you got your cable boxes and some older devices that only put out 1080p. So if that's what the case is, then like I said, just get 1080p cable. Because there are cables out there that's rated for 4K, 8K, and even higher. But you don't need to spend that much on cables that you're not going to take advantage of if the device can handle any higher bandwidth. At the same token, if you have devices that has 4K capability, don't get the 1080p cable because you're not going to get the full benefit out of the 4K device. So in that case, get you some nice quality 4K cables that can take advantage of the ability of the device. Now there's TVs on the market that has 8K capability at the time of this video. But if you don't have any device that can handle 8K and you still have 4K devices, then you can still go with the 4K cable because the TV can still handle 4K cable even though it's made for 8K. So getting a cable that has 8K capability but your device can hold it and a 4K is not going to improve the picture in any way. So basically what I'm trying to say is if your device can only handle a certain amount of resolution, 1080p or 4K, just get that particular cable for that device because getting something that's higher rated and your device cannot output it is not going to serve you any benefit. And you can probably save some cash by just spending enough on the cable that can handle that device. Also, try to measure the length of the cable that you need. You can easily do that with a tape measure because you don't need a six foot cable if a three foot will do. So spending more on a cable that has more length to it is not necessary because you're not going to use up all that length anyway and it's just extra cable lying around. So to wrap it up, one, get the cable that's capable of handling the device that you have. And two, try to get the length that's going to suffice for the connection between device and TV. Now you can go with the 8K cable if you have the latest PlayStation and an 8K TV. Alright, so I hope this advice was helpful to you. If it is, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it down below. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.